Welcome back. Let us see how to install this software Power BI Desktop on your laptop or a machine. Now there are many methods to download the software. One of them is which I'll be showing you here. You can see on the screen I have just entered the URL that is powerbi.microsoft.com and slash desktop. So you can use this URL and download the software. Let me show you that. So I've already opened the URL and you can see that's the same URL opened here. I can just click on download free option. So Power BI Desktop is completely free. You don't have to pay anything for that. Now, once you click on that, it will ask you to open Microsoft Store. So I'll just click on open Microsoft Store. And here you can see the Power BI Desktop application will be opened here. Now here you can just click on install button and it will automatically install on your laptop or PC here. Now the best part is if you try by this method every month, whatever updates are there, it will automatically update here. Okay, this Power BI software. So this is one easy method of downloading and installing. So here comes the Power BI. Here if you see I have the launch option since I already have Power BI installed on my machine. However, if you are doing it for the first time, you will get here as install. You will just click on install. It will take few minutes to install, download and install. You can click on this launch button here. That's one method. Second method is you can see the other option. See download and language options. If you are from some other country and you want in different language apart from English, you can just click on this see download or language options. So once I click on that, it will open a new tab and there you can see I can change the language. Okay, you see I can change the language from here. I can choose whichever language I want and I can just click on download button here. So this will be a customizable download option. Before you download, you can see what are the system requirements for this particular software. You can see the installation instruction if something required and then you can click on download and installation process is very simple, straightforward. Next, next, next and you can go for installation. Once it is done, you can just search for Power BI. That's the software here, Power BI Desktop. This will open the Power BI software. Now, many of you might have the older user interface of Power BI, not the new one. So how do you upgrade the newer user interface? Okay, Power BI updates every month, not every year, but every month. New features keeps on coming. How do we activate those features? This is also important here. My user interface and yours might be different. Okay, you see for me, the user interface is something different. You might have some different option here. For example, I have this transform data option, which you may or may not have. If you do not have, you are in the older version. I have filters pane here, which you might not have if you are on the older version. How to upgrade that? You can go to that file option, options and settings, then click on options button here. Later on, you can see there's a preview features. Some option you'll find here as preview features, this one. This is the most important part, preview features. Here, whatever new features are been launched by Microsoft company that you have to upgrade. Okay, every month you have to select this checkbox and click on OK. After you click on OK, you have to restart your Power BI software. Then only this new features will be installed. Same way, if you are in the transform data, okay, I'll just click on transform data. This will open a Power Query editor, okay, which you will be seeing in the section number 11. Now here also same thing in Power Query, file menu bar, options and settings, options. Here also you can see the same options will be visible for upgrading new features. That is preview features. Here also you can add some new features. Once you select all the checkboxes, uh, whichever are required, not all. Suppose this Spanish language Q&A, I don't require the Spanish language, so I can deselect that. And I can click on OK and close and apply. So then it will ask you to close the Power BI software and reopen that. So all the features would be installed. Okay, it's a very simple straightforward process here. But I hope you have understood how to download, install and upgrade the new features of Power BI. That's all for this video.